Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a challenge. And this challenge is called the 2019 Christmas DIY and Decor Challenge. And this challenge is being hosted by the DIY Mommy. I will leave a link to her channel down below in the description box, along with a link to the playlist of the other participants participating in this collaboration. Today I'm going to share with you, today I'm going to share the creation of my winter slash holiday centerpiece for my kitchen table. I have not transitioned from fall to winter as of yet. I traditionally don't do that until the day after Thanksgiving. So I very much still have my fall decor in play. Um, but this, uh, but soon I will be sharing with you uh, two tablescapes. One tablescape will be for my dining room and one tablescape will be for my kitchen. So today I'm going to share with you the creation of that centerpiece for my kitchen winter tablescape. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> so let's get started. The vase comes from Michaels if I haven't said that already. And I have a variety of picks here that I will be using and they come from my usual stops. Joanne Crafts and Michaels. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. As I had mentioned before earlier, I do not like to cut. I do not like to cut picks. I don't know. It's just something about them because I like to kind of keep them together. I don't mind, um, you know, fluffing them out. I mean, I think you need to do that. I think you need to fluff them out some but I don't like cutting the ends off of them but this stick this pick is too tall for the vase that I'm going to be using so I will be folding it in half I do not want to cut it but of course you can cut yours if that's what you want to do because I find that I end up using and reusing my picks um, and I can do that I have more versatility if I leave them at their original length I don't need any styrofoam because um, the neck of the vase is narrow enough to where the picks will hold it where I want it to be. And you know guys, I don't remember what the prices were on these. When I got these picks, I got them at various times. Some of these I recently purchased and I usually always catch them when they're at least 50% off. So they probably ran anywhere between $5 and $10. The bigger ones, I would imagine, were closer to $10 at 50% off. And then some of the smaller ones from Joann's, I really don't know what the price is because I no longer have the tags on them. Um, some of them are new, and uh, I think the ones in here are new purchase, and then some of these are purchases from a while ago, probably last season. So I don't remember what the price is. Then I got these. Um, these came from Joy and Crafts. These are a recent purchase as well. These were $2.99 each, which is a little pricey, but I had a 50% off coupon. So I ended up paying $1.50 for this. And I wouldn't have paid so much except that I love the lamb's ear leaves and the little uh, imitation pearls. I just think that's so pretty. It just lends a, a little elegance to whatever centerpiece that you're making. And I think I've got two of those. I do. I always buy in twos, usually. I've also noticed that these picks don't have names. <laughs> you know, sometimes like a Dollar Tree, they'll uh, put a name on the actual pick and tell you what it is. These, they just say decorative picks. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't tell you what it's supposed to be, what in real life it's, it's imitating.
It's a candle holder that I, I've had for some time now. Uh, you may remember seeing this last winter in my uh, my winter caloche, the large uh, caloche for the winter. That's pretty with the little pops of blue that just kind of pokes out. I like that. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. That's one of the things I love about centerpieces. They're very personalized and you can take and put together whatever picks or real flowers or faux flowers or picks that you enjoy that uh, coordinate with the theme of your home and create something absolutely stunning and one of a kind. for tuning in guys i hope you enjoy my winter slash holiday centerpiece for my kitchen table remember that tablescape is to come so stay tuned i want to thank the diy mommy for allowing me to participate in this collaboration i had lots of fun i always do and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and don't forget Make sure you click one of the videos at the end of this video to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.